Welcome back everybody to the 26 Winters American Championship semifinals where we have Puffin looking to continue his winning streak just winning the Summoner Showdown Challenge just last weekend and challenging him is Zen Style, a player who looked really good coming into this year but has not really been able to back it up with any big tournament winnings. So he's looking to take down that throne and head him and get himself into the grand finals here and what a series it's been. It's been back and forth. Every game just narrowly coming down to the winner circle. And here we are in game five. We have Zen Styles Tempo Mage going up against Puffin's Oil Rogue. So it's kind of a battle between early game versus that late game decision making. And I'm excited to find out who wins. So how about we head directly into game and see who will be heading on to the grand finals today. So here we are everybody heading into the final game here and we're just looking at the mulligans here Zen style with this temple mage having an almost perfect god draw I mean both mana worms with three low cost spells That's not bad and then drawing into another low cost spell This could be really good for him especially when Puffin really not having that much of an early game um, Tinker Oil, not going to help him this early in the game, Happy even with the prep, winter. you know. It's not something you really want to be burning early. And then Zen style drawing into the Sorcerer's Apprentice. He could choose to be really, really greedy here. He can drop the Apprentice and then coin out anything, really. He can coin out the Mana Worm into Arcane Missiles, and then at that point, he would have... A 3-3 three, three Mana Worm and a 2-3 Mana Worm. And that would really challenge Puffin. Because in his hand all he has is this Blade Fury and the Eviscerate. He's going to burn that prep Eviscerate tr just to get rid of that early Mana Worm. He knows how bad it can snowball and he doesn't want to. That SI Agent to clear out the Apprentice too. Just really cleanly taking the board back there. So, Zen Style is going to go ahead and drop that second Mana Worm, boost it up to a 3-3, three, three, and just kind of hope that Puffin doesn't have another response. And this does put Puffin into a bit of an awkward situation. He can't use the Eviscerate because it won't do enough damage, and he doesn't really want to use Eviscerate and Blade Fury because that's two really high priority spells just for a one mana minion. He's gonna have to burn this Tinker Oil if he wants to get rid of it. He's really thinking about this one because he knows that if he uses it now, it's one less resource he'll have later for a big Blade Fury finish. Ultimately though, he does decide to go for it. Zen style really slowing down here. He had that really strong early game that was pretty easily dealt with by Puffin, and now he's still kind of stalling out. He's not drawing into any um, early burn nor like low cost minions like a Flame Walker to really take advantage of this. This mirror entity though will give him a Sludge Belcher. That's a big taunt line he's looking up there, especially now that he you know improved upon Puffin's Belcher by making it golden. Fireball gonna really quickly deal with that Sludge Belter, clear the board. Now Puffin here, not many plays outside of the Azure Drake. Um, Sap on a damage Belcher, not the biggest um, power play because it's just gonna come back healthier. He's gonna clear it out and not really worry about it. The pretty much immediate unstable portal there from Zen Style is going to give him a Kel'Thuzad. That could be huge coming up later on, especially with the low cost mana. Puffing on that turn 5. Could choose to drop the Lothab. It's looking like he's going to. It's a really good body to drop down. Um, the battle cry, however, is huge huge in this matchup. If you were to drop that after the Archmage comes down, he could pretty much prevent any additional fireballs from being made, 
along with really kind of stalling out the Temple Mage because he's not going to be able to play any spells and it gives you an extra turn to draw something to deal with that Archmage. So right now, the Archmage could get played or the Kel'Thuzad and he could really keep those um, taunts alive. He's going to choose to do a card draw with the Azure. Not much else he could do there after playing that. Could see a sprint coming in from Puffin, really wanting to get as many cards in his hand as possible to enable big combos. He does have a couple pieces of the puzzle. He has a Deadly Poison, a Blade Fury, and an Eviscerate. Um, not quite enough with Zen still being at 30 health, though. He's going to need a bit more. He's looking like he wants to clear the board. He has that damage Azure Drake, which he's going to trade into Zen's Azure Drake to get rid of that spell damage boost because that's not something he wants to be staring down right now. Big draws coming in here. Arcane Intellect, what could this get him? Could it get something to get him back into this board control? Not quite. Flamewalker and Shredder would both be easily dealt with by that Lotheb. Looks like he's just going to play that... Kel'Thuzad and hope there's zero answers even after that sprint which is a lot of cards to deal with um, Puffin could have anything to deal with that right now and since that was an unstable portal Kel'Thuzad it was only five mana now that it's been sapped it's gonna go back to full mana and completely wipe out any tempo Zen was hoping to get going in his favor Right now, Zen's just really playing from behind. He's trying to get any advantage he can. Doing an Archmage into Coin Counterspell. That Counterspell could be huge. If it blocked a prep, it could completely ruin Puffin's entire game plan at this point, only having one prep remaining. However, that double backstab could really, you know, foil Zen once again. Because if your Counterspell, your three mana spell, only blocks a zero mana spell that he has two of. <laughs> That's not what you want to be doing. And so the first backstab is a counter spell. Second backstab is going to give another sorcerer's apprentice, not sorcerer's apprentice, another minion, just to keep pushing the board advantage through. And now Blade Fury, even though it doesn't say it gets that bonus spell damage from the Blood Mage, it will do the four damage. To Finish clearing out the Archmage, and now there's a ton of damage going into Zen Style's face, and things are looking very, very dire for him. He's down to 6 HP with 13 damage on the board. So, what... What can Zen really do here? Because there's not a whole lot. He's going to try and clear the board as much as possible, you know. Use that fireball on the low theb. Throw up some 2 2 taunts. So not a whole lot. He will survive another turn. But his last draw is going to be entirely crucial. And will pretty much decide the game. He needs an ice block. Or just something to really take the game back in his favor. And now we see the Dr. Boom. He's toying with that prep idea. He's going to go for that prep Blade Fury. He really doesn't want to have to see this Flame Walker anymore. I am ready to learn. Now here it is. The game could be over right here. He draws an Atherochondra. What will this give him? Anything to save him. Kona Cold, he can do a bit of wave clear. He's, those boom bots could finish him right here, though. He decides to go for it. Boom bot, one to face, two to face. That's so unfortunate. On two health, with six, seven on the board. The heal bot just for that extra BM. And that's going to be Puffin moving on to the grand finals. Unfortunately, Zen Style was not able to pick up a win 
that he was really kind of looking for. Congrats to Puffin. Very well played by him. And we're going to send it right over to the castle desk again. What an exciting match there, guys. Really well played by both teams. Unfortunately, Zen Style not able to pick up that much needed win he was looking for. Puffin just having every answer every turn for the entirety of the game. Um, really shutting down Zen Style even after that absurd early game with the double mana worm. Um, and once the oil road got going, he just was able to keep board control, keep damage going, and just not giving an inch to Zen Style. Um, on that note, congratulations to Puffin for heading into the grand finals of the 2016 America's Winter Challenge, and he's going to be facing up a, an enemy that he has not yet been decided. So hopefully we'll be seeing that later on today, and we will see you guys right here after a short break.